This is Captain Jake Wheelis with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, guys, here we are down here in Sea Drift, Shoalwater Bay. Right here off of these islands, there's a deep gut with some mud around it. It's starting to get the winter. We're starting to get these cold fronts, these strong fronts. These fish are going to be pushing up onto the mud. Work your lure slow. Work your corkies in there. Work your devils in there. Uh, not many topwaters anymore. Once this water gets cooled down, they're going to get off them topwaters. We're going to start throwing a couple more floating corkies and really starting to concentrate on our corky selection. All right, right over here in the oil field cut, right up against the island, there's a lot of mud with some shell out deeper. The oyster boats are really starting to get in here. Uh, get your six inch paddle tails out. Once this water gets cold and cooled down, we're gonna be throwing a lot bigger baits. Then fish are gonna get off of their, eating their shrimp and they're gonna transition to eating more mullet. These fish, once it gets cooler, they, they'll stay up there a little shallower just because there's more oxygen in the water the cooler it gets. Work your bait slow, don't get over anxious, and just pop that, that lure up off of that shell and just walk it across the bottom and then fish will smack it. We've been catching a lot of good fish down here on the air shoreline, Cottonwood Bayou right in here, all down these drains. The, the trout are out on the grass and sand, the redfish are back up in, in those creeks. Work your lure slow guys, it's getting to that time of year to where you want a lure that doesn't sink near as fast. So instead of using your quarter ounce jig heads, go to your eighth ounce and your sixteenth ounce jig heads and give it a minute before you work it back up. Work the bottom of your your water column and l give them fish a chance to see it. Them fish are going to start getting lethargic. They're not going to be swimming as hard. They're going to stay in one place. They're not looking for bait. They're waiting for a bait to come across them. These fish do not want to expend as much energy as when it is warm and they can, don't have to worry about the cool weather. All right, we're down here on the end of tide gauge down here towards Cathead, Point of the Rocks, however y'all want to call it. We've been fishing this area right here with this north wind that we've been having. We start on tide gauge and work to the, towards the end of Cathead. Right there on that drop off, there's a lot of rocks in here, guys. Y'all be careful. I don't want to see y'all pulling in here and uh, knocking off a lower unit. Y'all put around in here. It's real dangerous in here. Y'all wade real careful. But we've been throwing our big baits again, guys. They're getting off of their shrimp. They're starting to get into the mullet and not eating the pinfish like they were during the summertime. It's better late than never, but our winter transition is finally here. The fish are eating a lot better. They're eating our lures a lot better. A lot of this bait's getting out of the bay. Y'all have a good time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Jake Wheelis.